What's up you guys? It's a beautiful day in January and we all know that money doesn't grow on trees. But there is one thing in Kentucky that grows on trees. That's fillet minion. Let me show you how to make the perfect one. The most important part is to let it sit out and get the room temperature. Now you need you a small pot and two cups of water. A couple heaping tablespoons of some sea salt. Once boiling, we add our coffee, a bunch of it. I don't know, two, three, four tablespoons of coffee. Some brown sugar. I don't know, a couple tablespoons. Don't forget the spicy danos. Stir that all together. After a minute or two, turn it off. Now we add us some ice. Stir those ice cubes in. Now what we're doing is we're actually getting this brine cold. We have a room temperature filet and a cold brine that's gonna soak up that flavor. We're gonna let it marinate for a minimum of two hours. And of course, you could have four, five, six, seven, eight steaks in there. Two hours later, now take your fillet minion. We're gonna lay it out and let it get the room temperature again. Now that we're to room temperature, we're gonna throw this in our oven at 275 degrees and we're gonna bake it till it gets to an internal 110 and then this is called the reverse sear method. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna finish it off by searing it in a cast iron. And then we're gonna hit it with the pop pop too. Now we got our fillet the 110, get you a tiny pan. That's why they call me Tiny Dan. Don't forget to get your spicy Danos. Give it a heavy coating. There's just the right amount of sea salt in here to give it the right amount of salt flavor that you need. The rest is all flavor. You even got rosemary in there, which is awesome on steaks. Just a little bit of cooking oil. Now we go in for the sizzle. And a little more spicy Danos on top. You're not gonna overdo it. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be an herb crust. After just a couple minutes, you flip. Perfect. All right, you guys. Look at that herb crust on the bottom, on the top, perfectly cooked. Now we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. Let's check it and see how we did. Cut it right down the middle. Let's see if it's any good. You would have to try so hard to beat that. That little bit of coffee in there, that salt brine. Try the coffee cure filet. I'm just saying. Yum, yum, get you some. Mm.